Hey guys, Danny here. Today I'm going to be taking apart my Anet A3 3D printer. Stay tuned. I've been having some problems with my 3D printer not extruding properly. So if I push the filament through manually, it does go through the nozzle and extrude. But as soon as I attempt to do a print, it doesn't work. So in today's video, I'm just going to be taking apart my printer and seeing if I can diagnose the problem. So hopefully this will help some of you if you're thinking of taking apart your ANET A3 printer, if you're having any similar problems. Um, leave a comment if you have any tips or suggestions for anyone else. So when you've got your printer, you should have got um, this box with it as well. We're going to be using the tools from this box. We're going to be using the screwdriver and these allen keys. The first thing I'm going to do is simply just hoover the bottom of the printer as I've never done this since I've owned it so you can see it's fairly messy. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this little plastic piece which directs the airflow from the fan that just pulls out and then there are two screws underneath this side fan that we need to take out here Simply just move this out of the way. Now we're going to remove this other fan and we're going to just use an Allen key that goes into these two points here. Okay, top tip, when hoovering your 3D printer, don't suck up parts that you need. <laughs> I was hoovering the printer and I just sucked this part off by accident. And I then had to go and cut open my hoover bag and fetch it out. So that wasn't much fun. Make sure you don't do that. Okay, so now we've taken the fan off. We can now remove the extruder motor. And we can then just take this out. Okay, so we've removed the extruder motor and there is now a Phillips screw underneath that we need to underdo. Okay, so that screw was a bit of a pain to get out, but it came out eventually. Now we're gonna do, now this top part is loose, is we're just gonna spin this around like so. And now the extruder, we should be able to pull that out. There we go. So we have this little slot at the top. We're going to put our Allen key in there and turn that. And that will loosen these wires. Now we have full access to our extruder. Or extruder head. So I'm going to see if I can take this part off here and inspect inside that and see if there's any, any damage. Okay, so I managed to loosen the nozzle just with some grips and some long pliers. So that should now just unscrew. If you're wondering what this item is, this is the heater for the nozzle and we also have just above it the uh, sensor. Unfortunately I wasn't able to fix my problem but hopefully this video is still helpful to some of you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and hey if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Thanks guys.